And I'm getting really mad at Instagram because I keep changing it. And the button <laughs> to post became the button for reels. And like it used to be like right in the middle. You hit the you hit the thing in the middle. And now it's just like I'm uh, somebody's twerking in front of a dog. I don't know what's going on here. I'm supposed to be posting my 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 cool picture. And and this is what's happening now. What what what's ha- what is happening? <laughs> Instagram <laughs> right now. So just, one of the recent upgrades of in, well updates of Instagram. I don't want to say upgrade because I think it's really bothersome. Uh, mm. Is like having to find at the top this little plus sign next to Instagram, which then allows you to oh, there's my post story reels live. So my options oh. are now under this plus sign at the top. Oh wait, wait, it's there. Here, I don't even yeah. know. No, I don't. I don't have that, Katie. I don't have that. I I have yeah, to slide it's... left. I have to slide left to get my options. What what do you? Oh, there is a little plus up there. Look at that. Yeah, next. Next to your notifications, which is now a heart at the top when it used to be at the bottom, which is also I, I've been I've been sliding to I've been sliding left and getting all my options, <laughs> which of course start with well, I think they start with stories if I do that. Yeah. They start with yeah. stories and then I like okay, and then I have to go over to the post. And then now we have reels. So reels is like was much like stories look a lot like what Snapchat was doing. <laughs> and we all got used to it like reels is tiktok basically yeah yes mm-hmm. it is and most people i'm who are doing both are using the same videos in both places mm-hmm. because they look very much the same yes so so the question is the question that i battle with <laughs> what should be a story versus a post versus a reel versus i, I think... versus, versus igtv maybe i think igtv kind of <laughs> makes the decision for you doesn't it yeah that's long form yes that's anything over 60 seconds you're going to be over an igtv i mean there are apps that will break up things in story yeah and your story to break it up into little boop, boop, boop. but it doesn't i don't know it doesn't seem to play as I don't, people tend to tap out at a certain point yes if your story goes too long you're not expecting a three minute video when you're sitting in stories that everything like caps out at 15 seconds right so yeah, like, like, eh, it's I'm like, done. yeah, it's like, it's supposed to be a quick thing. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think, I think it depends on what, what kind of, what content are you creating? Are you creating something where you need more than the first five, 10 seconds to capture someone's attention? Mm-hmm. Like that is more of reels. That's more of, I guess, even a post, but with the stories, you have to be ready to capture somebody's like attention right away or they have to really like you what you're as far as like a business Mm -hmm. if you were looking at it from a business standpoint you have to be able to catch someone's attention like right away or they're flipping because it's so easy just to go okay i'm tired of this flip 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 flip, flip, flip. you know what i mean it's so simple to do it that people aren't going to hesitate when it's time to you know like ah, this is taking too long to get into the story this is taking too long to get to what you're talking about yeah so and reels is fun for adding songs like on tiktok (laughs) So one thing I, I've seen, because you know we're you know we 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 put you know we put our clips out and everything right. Mm-hmm. Like if you post, if you're kind of like have a question about it, you know, okay, I'm gonna put it on story. I'm gonna put it on a post. I'm gonna put it on reels because the people that because not everybody. I literally have never really been in reels. Like it just doesn't happen. <laughs> you know, it's not part of my 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 not not workflow, but like you know. Uh, app flow, I guess, uh, it went, when you're in there until they put that button in there and I hit it by accident. Um, but, and, and, and this is going to be different because I still have accounts, like I still have the plus at the bottom over on the Awesome Cast account, for instance, right? So, mm-hmm. so like, it doesn't be <laughs> the same as my other accounts. <laughs> it's nuts uh, because they're doing these slow rollout things. Um, but uh, one thing I noticed is Reels will post uh, in IGTVs too. And again, that's anything over, and you'll get an option when you post a video, just cut it off at 60 and be an Instagram video or be an IGTV video. And I don't know what that does to your algorithm and how many people see it, to be quite honest. But um, but if you post reels, it can say show on your grid, which means that reel will now show up just like a post. And I've seen it in timelines as well afterwards um, mm-hmm. without doing a separate post. So now that becomes like you've you've kind of settled both those places. There's a lot of thinking for something that started as a very simple picture posting app. Yes, <laughs> I've noticed. It really, it really does. 
And I think um, because Instagram is trying to push reels so hard, yes, um, putting yourself out on reels shows up more often, it seems, in the search when mm -hmm. you're searching for something. And mm -hmm. they're really working hard at curating reels for you. Really hard. But because if you hit that little reels button, most of my videos are cats and dog videos. <laughs> <laughs> If you, um, like, it, it, and that's the general rule of thumb that we've kind of had around here too, is, is, uh, if there's a new feature, figure it out early, even if it doesn't last long, because that platform is going to push that new feature, right? Yep. And that's an opportunity to, if you're the, one of the first ones to figure out how to utilize that feature, you get some new eyeballs or more eyeballs to for whatever the thing you're trying to do, you know, bring it to our podcast, we all bring, bring it to your business, whatever the case may be. Like, that's always a, Oh no, there's a new thing. It's like, why am I doing fleets? Not because I, not because, you know, I want to do fleets, but because it's like, well, this is a new thing. Twitter's going to put this in front of a lot of people. It does satisfy this need, you know, then it is something like that. But with that also only, you know, try not to overextend. <laughs> so we're getting a little heady. You should see my social media folder. <laughs> so. all the things and stuff but i think I, I like the thing i do like about reels is it does serve me content that other people will like and it's easy to like just forward it into a friend in a message oh okay I'm like i like cat videos so like and i have friends that like cat videos or any sort of animal videos and then i'm like oh this is hilarious i just hit the little looks like a paper airplane and then i'm selecting the friends i want to send it to and there you go and it's nice because it sends it separately so you don't have to feel like you're sending out a big group text because that's annoying to a lot of people, including myself, when you get into these huge group texts. But, um, and then it also gives you the option to add the reel to your story. So then you're sharing it with your friends anyways. So, so here's a question because I'm on your feed. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. How do I get to your reels? I don't have any reels. So you, that probably you, is why. Oh, you, you just share see. out from other people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, now I'm curious because yeah. I, I don't know other than it kind of showing up where you would do. Where would you kind of find reels? Now, I know we're doing reels lately on Awesome Cast, so I'm going to go over to that that uh, uh, feed over there. This is educational. Um, yeah, see, okay. you'll see. If I'm looking on Michael Sorg's, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you'll notice that you have your grid, your reels, your Instagram TV, and then there essentially the the tag. I only have three of those little icons right. because I don't, I haven't done any reels. You haven't posted any, so so yeah, mm -hmm. you'll go to reels and you'll see kind of the verticals the vertical videos we've been doing and then IGTV will be kind of the long form versions that we've been doing. And those are like, you know, like, you know, three or four minute kind of clips of an entire section of something we talked about. Like, you know, like, like Chilla talking about the uh, hackboard Intel hackboard a few weeks ago here. That's like, uh, probably a little long. And I don't know a lot of people watch those long videos on Instagram. So I don't know how, how well you want to prioritize it, but for me, it's just kind of in my workflow. So, you know, mm -hmm. um, but uh, and it's also interesting because if you go to the search function, I'm in my account, and I like seeing that uh, the um, one of our reels for the AirPods Max from engraving option from a few weeks ago is now popping up in there as well. And this is like a lot of, I think, top reels and things like that. I don't know if that got a lot. I'm trying to find my stats on there. Oh, there's no stats because I'm not in the account, but you get the idea. 